up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles, the YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and today we're playing, I guess, a deck that I haven't seen much play in a long time, and that is Darkrai. But Darkrai has gained a new friend, and that is Nagnadel. Now, I want to give a huge shout-out to Garrett. Uh, Garrett is basically the one who was like, hey, man, you should play Darkrai with Nagnadel. Also, he was one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, he doesn't really do YouTube videos anymore. It was like HSS Prime. HGSS Prime, I can't say his name, his channel right now, but a uh, good friend of mine for a very long time, one of the guys who looked up uh, before I started YouTubing, and uh, Garrett was like, hey, just play Darkrai, not gonna do, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna play it today, we'll see if it's gonna work, he knows I love Darkrai, everybody should love Darkrai, if you don't know what Darkrai is, well, you haven't played Pokemon for very long, so we are playing... Dark Eye with the attack Dark Pulse. It does 20, and this attack does 20 more damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Alrighty, so you kind of see what this deck kind of does just off of that. So, you're going to 20 plus 20 times all amount of Dark Energy attached to all your Pokemon. And with the new Nogginadale, Nogginadale has the ability charging up once during your turn before you attack. You may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Uh, so you get Dark Energy's ID to discard pile, chapter from the Noggin Adele. And also, this is going to help you out against Buzzwall, because you can at Turning Point with the Choice Band to do 220 damage. Uh, 8, 9, and 11 with the Choice, and you can just one shot a, uh, you just one shot a Buzzwall, which is fantastic. So that's going to help your fighting matchup, which is great. Uh, we are playing one of the Dark Cloak Dark Rides to get Free Retreat. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be mainly the Dark Rides. And we are playing one Dark Ride GX. Uh, Garrett was pointing this out. He was like, hey, just playing, like, one Dark Ride GX. You have the Dead End GX whenever you want to. If you want to act Pokemon, it's affected by a special condition, and that Pokemon is knocked out. So out of nowhere, you can pretty much get a Dark Ride out of nowhere, which is pretty nice with this deck. And you use that Dead End GX to take a knockout. And, of course, a 3-3 Nagata Dell, which has free retreat thanks to the Dark Cloak. And we are playing two Tapu Lele for the Wonder Tag. So for Compressor, we want to get as many Dark Energies in the discard pile as possible. And maybe, you know, a Dark Ride GX, because you have that Restoration, which I didn't talk about. But once during your turn, before you attack this Pokemon, your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. Then attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. And, of course, the idea is you get Restoration of Dark Energy from Dark Ride to it. Then you attach Dark Patch and then Laser and basically take a knockout out of nowhere. Uh, one computer search, discard two cards from your hand, search for card, put it to your hand. Four Dark Patches to help get those even, like we're doing, we're getting a ton of Dark Energies with Nagandale and Dark Patch. One Laser, of course, to go with the Dead End GX. Uh, two Mysterious Treasure, which should help us get the Psychic or Tapu Lele out, and of course, four Ultra Ball. So, four via Secret to Reuse Supporter Cards. We are playing three Skyfield. He is actually texting me right now, so maybe the list will change here in a second. Um, okay, nope, he just said, let's go. I told him, let's just make a rough list. Let's just play around with it, see how it goes. Uh, but Skyfield is going to have up to eight bench Pokemon, which is great because you have a bunch of Nagandales, Tapu Lele, Dark Rise early. Then they're going to bump your stadium and you're discarding Tapu Lele's. One Colors because you are going to have a full bench, so it's your opponent. Two Guzma, of course, bring a Pokemon off the bench. One in and three Juniper. Um, like I said, this is a rough list um, right now. You can mess around the supporter cards, but this is what we're playing right now. Juniper is, of course, good to get the Dark Energies in your discard pile. You could cut these for Cynthia's, so you don't discard that one laser. I did have a Shadow Triad out in here at one point because Shadow Triad can get back one of your uh, Plasm cards, which can get back your laser so you can reuse Dark Patch or reuse Dead and GX. Three choice band, so additional 30 damage, and 14 dark energy. We need as many dark energies in the discard pile as possible, so dark uh, pulse can start doing a ton of damage. So like I said, some things I definitely want in here is like maybe a stretcher, maybe a field blower, but maybe a Zerosic, maybe um, Cynthia's instead of Junipers. But we're going to test the deck out today. I uh, like a Tuesday. This is a very rough list, but I do, I'm excited to play this. I know Garrett's excited to play. He just said, let's go with a bunch of O's, um, so Darkrai Naga, so let's play some Darkrai Naga, and let's see what Darkrai Naga Del has for us, I can't spell Naga Del on top of my head right now, so let's go to an Expended, look at there, Witness of Tokens, uh, where's Darkrai at? There it is, Darkrai Naga Del for Expanded Thursday, so let's see how this goes, what is Marie Koyonix, alright, playing a uh, Psychic and a Lightning deck. So call heads, like always, and we won the coin flip. All right, so yes, so go first. On to our turn. Let's see. Okay, so we get a bowl again. All right. Um, hand. 
Well, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, right? I mean, I guess it depends what we started with kind of thing. Um, luckily, since we are going first, nobody's really, like, knocking us out turn two. Unless it's, like, a buzzwall with, like, some crazy fighting boost thing going on with it. <sighs> Too bad to get Dark Patch to a Naga Nadal. That'd be really nice. <laughs> Alright, Poi 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 Poi, Dark Rat. Okay, so we don't have any support. Okay, well, alright. They were scared of our Dark Rat. <coughs> Alright, so let's try it again. On the game number two. I guess that kind of game number one. That doesn't count as anything. We won, though. Yay! We won a game already. We only won a game on Tuesday, so we'll see if we can win a game today. Alright, so let's click play. Let's see what happens in game number two. We're already playing against Watson Big F. Playing a fighty deck. Oh, no! Alright, so won the coin flip. Yes. Let's see what happens today, guys. Alright. So, we start this dark eye. We put down the other dark eye. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I didn't mean... <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Joshua Thomas marking. What are you doing? Uh, this is why I don't like PTC Ocean Dark. Because I definitely want to bench. I was like, oh, let me click this card. Uh, Alright, well... We'll compressor away oh, see so mad at myself one two uh maybe a guzma all right with well, dark energy dark energy this and chorus for a lele <clears throat> Okay, well, Wonder Tag, yes. Uh, for J oh, we already discarded Guzma. We shouldn't, yeah, we should have kept the Guzma in the deck. Whoops. Megan misplays already, Josh. What else is new? Come on now. Juniper, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. All right, we can Ultra Ball, discard this too. Poi Poipo, okay. Grab the Poipo, put down the Poipo. And press the next week attach a dark energy, put down Nagandale. We can use um charging up, get a dark energy air, dark energy air, 2040, 20, 40, 60. Okay, well. Alright, made some we made some crucial misplays at the beginning. But we'll try again. I guess my opponent didn't have anything in her hand. And oh my goodness. Okay, so we we, we know not to mention the Dark Rai GX. Don't bench Dark Rai GX, Josh. That's bad. Bad. Don't Dark Rai, don't discard Dark Rai GX. And you're going to Sycamore. Sorry, I'm and I'm in like Cynthia mode. You gotta remember, I'm going from standard to expanded. I forgot about Juniper. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna discard a Guzma because we're Cynthia, but we're not playing Cynthia. We're playing Juniper, Josh. So, Screwdriver. Only playing Psychic. Okay, sure. Whatever, bud. Call heads. Hey, we won the coin flip again. Yes. All right. Can we do something? Can we? Can we copy Strike PewDiePie? <clears throat> All right, so we got Poipo, Poipo. Uh, we can attach our Dark Energy Compressor. And we can discard the stuff that's right this time, Josh. All right, so touch a Dark. We'll Compressor. Discarding Restoration, a Juniper, and a Guzma. There we go. And then we'll via Seeker for Juniper, Discard her hand, draw seven new cards. There we go, Josh. That's the correct order of operation. So put this down. Ultra Ball. Double Dark. Free Dark Ray. We have the other Dark Ray prized. Oops. So what happens when you play one of those? Uh, put this down. Dark Patch to it. Um, and we'll press. We'll just press done right now. Um, what we can do next turn is we can retreat via Seeker Juniper, Naganadel, start using the Charging Up ability, and start getting those energies online. So there is a NK coming down. Now, will we take a knock on next turn? Probably not. I'd be very confused if we did. I'd be I'd be happy. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm going to put Naganadel on the bench and just like Juniper first. I guess it really doesn't matter. Um... In this case, we don't have energy, but we hit a dark patch. That's kind of why I don't want to treat right now. <clears throat> All right, computer search. See what he grabs here. 
a Guzma and a Gardevoir. The, okay, so is this like a it's like a psychic challenge happening right now? We're playing as a psychic challenge deck. Like, just bench a bunch of psychic Pokemon. Is that what's happening right now? Because it's definitely... Like, I, I know Expanded's not really, like, you know, that big of a deal. <sighs> All right, so Max Luxor. Like, people don't test Expanded really anymore. All right, so Max Luxor. Gonna put a Psychic Engine on this Mewtwo, okay. All right, so we'll not gonna know. Dark Patch. And VS Seeker for Juniper. Here we go. All right, so Juniper draw a new hand of seven. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, so we can see how we want to do this. We can computer search away one and two. I think we just grab another dark eye here. All right, we'll put down the dark eye, dark patch. Dark patch. Retreat, attach, charging up. All right, so two, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 140. So we're close to knockout. Um, we could have maybe brought him up and only knows 160, so not guaranteed knockout. All right, so we, we almost had the knockout there. If we find the other Nagandel, we could have taken the knockout. Um, oh, we could have done, oh, we could have done that. Josh, just use your computer search. For the knockout down, then you would have the knockout that turn, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You silly. Well, dang it. All right. Well, that was a pretty good game. Uh, we still haven't played against anything competitive yet. <clears throat> so let's try again. 12 minutes of playing against three different decks, and none of them. I mean, I guess the game was like somewhat good, right? So, Ryo XOT playing a Guard of War deck, most likely, right? That's what I'm imagining is what it is. Uh, but it had no fighting, so maybe it's Gramble? I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's just Psychic Colors, so I'm not sure what we're playing against right now. Okay, we'll start top with Lele and just Juniper hand away. Of, oh, we could just attach a Dark Energy Active. Um, I'm trying to decide if, uh, maybe we'll just, yeah, touch the Dark Energy Deactive, because then we find, like, um, Dark Patch or something, and the Dark Ride, then we're gonna go, no matter what. I wanna be able to treat this guy next turn. Are we going first or second? I already forgot. Don't put this guy down this turn again. It's a Sylveon deck! Um, I think we're fine against Sylveon, as long as we don't prize the, um, the Dark Ride. EX for free retreat. Alright. Because, like, there's no way he can discard all of our cards. I got all of our energies. We play so many energies. Maybe. I say this thing's gonna beat us, right? So, put this Juniper. I put down Poiple. Um. I think we just press done right now. Because next time we can knock on a Dell, we can start charging up. He can't really lock the Nogginadale on the active. The only thing I'm really scared he locks up is like a top of the crush hammer. Heads, okay. Alright. Um <clears throat> so magical ribbon. Hmm. So we can put down the Nogginadale. We can Ultra Ball away for uh, another Lele for N. I really don't like that play. I hope we just have like a VS Seeker. Okay. And that happened. So I'm not gonna know. Ultra Ball away Guzma. And choice. We we'll discard Compressor for a Lele for N. I'm hoping it ends in here. Yep. <clears throat> so grab a Lele. We'll put down Lele. Use it for an N. Let's see here. Alright. <clears throat> so we got the other dark, right? That's good. We got the in. Put a dark energy active. Use in. Can I get the choice band right now? Don't really want to use it. Okay, there's a 
Darkrai. <clears throat> Put down the Darkrai. We'll use Charging Up. Okay. And then I think we just pass right now. Yeah, I mean, we could compress her and discard more dark energies and stuff like that. But with two, we'll, we'll discard some more next turn. We'll, like, VS secure for N and get rid of the magic ribbon. This is a good thing about, like, N it expanded is you can get rid of all these magic ribbon shenanigans. All right. That's there. We can also go for a dead end GX at any moment as well um, to one-shot one of his guys, which is really nice. So, yeah, we're going to double compressor. Skyfield and DS to get for in. Attach and dark energy here. Maybe we'll be good knockout. Probably not. So Silent Lab, good. We'll count, we'll, we'll, um, counter that with Skyfield. Now he plays Lucid Mine, of course, which is bad for us. Uh, but right now we'll have 20, 40. Okay, so there's an end. We'll get a new hand of six. He gets a new hand of six as well. <clears throat> all right, let's see what give you all the six cards. <laughs> We got the knockout this turn. Yeah. We can yeah, we can take a knockout this turn for sure. Alrighty. That looks good for us. Alright. Um <clears throat> I just wish we had the other dark eye because I hate losing the energy, but it's fine. We yeah, we got enough. We got stuff we can do. Alright, on our turn. Let's see here. We got a mysterious treasure, which gives us another poi poi if one, two. So a laser. Doesn't matter. We will. <gasps> oh, we can't use it right now. Oh, Josh, you silly. Because you're, our ability is locked right now. Oh, no, Josh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's bad for us. We wasted our laser. Oh, goodness. Well, oh, misplay. Misplay, Josh. You're so bad at this game. I can't wait till everybody talks trash. All right. <laughs> we'll compress her. Oh, wait. Dang. Well, dang it. One, two, and... Three. Uh, we'll just kind of the dark energy. All right, we'll retreat, and we'll start dark pulsing. Oh, just hey, we wasted our one laser, Josh. Your one laser, and you had waste it right there, didn't you? Didn't you, silly? You got too excited. So max push in the active, okay. Party which was a scoop now, because I'm just I just I'm just so mad at everything right now. Crushing hammer tells, okay. T flick on the energy of the active, okay. Four, five, six, seven, a rainbow to the active, okay. I'm hope we type deck a juniper and then we can like do some stuff. Mmm. Uh, yeah, we need to type deck a juniper. And then maybe we have a chance. For a VS Seeker. A VS Seeker would get us in though, 100%. Which we haven't played any VS Seekers left, so that's good. Alright, so Timbo. Okay, 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 we got this. Take two. Come on, let's get this. Just kidding, that's not what we needed. Alright, we're well, charging up. Alright. And then. Press done. Alright, so this guy's slowly getting energy, so that's good. Okay. Not gonna tell is gonna do a ton of damage one time. Tails for Crush Namer, okay. Mm, good, good. He's 0 for 2 for Crush Namers. See what else he's got here. What else does our opponent have? We top it Juniper, VS Seeker in, we're definitely just gonna put down Dark Eye, Mysterious Treasure this for another Well we can't. Um <laughs> I don't know, we'll just wait and see. So Team Rocket's any work. Tails and Tails. Good. Take that. Sylveon. Field blower away the choice band. Okay. 
You want you want to discard this? You sure? You sure you want to do that? Magical. All right. So we just need a top deck of uh, an N or VS Seeker or something. A Juniper, a uh, Colrus Steven. I'm fine with the Colrus. Fine with a lot of stuff right now. <clears throat> uh, not gonna delve into the energy, which is good for us. Solely power for Dark Rise to do more damage. That's a good thing, right? Because by itself is doing 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 damage just off this not gonna deal. Alright, three cards going to his hand. 10, da 10 damage, okay. On to our turn. VS Seeker, alright. What do we do here, Josh? Put this here. Put down this. VS Seeker for an in. Yeah, I wanna go for in and disrupt that hand. Uh, for sure. Maybe we get Skyfield, a Dark Patch, Energy. Okay. Oh, we don't really get anything. Which is, I mean, it's not a bad hand at all. We can put down Poiple. We can charge up. Attach an Energy. Attach Energy to the active. How many Energies in here? Two. Well, Dark Patch. And Energy on the Dark Eye. And then we're Dark Pulse. Whew. All right, go down to four prize cards. Find a battle presser and a dark patch. Two good cards. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We still have six energies left. Bodybuilding dumbbells. Two hundred and forty HP. Get out of here. But we can get three energies in play. Attach one, four. There's a peak in red card. Going to see your hand. Yeah, he's definitely want our hand shuffle back in there. He's like, no, no, you're good. You, you, you don't need those cards. Hand's not as bad either. Okay. Stretcher back to Eevee. Okay. Hmm, let's see. There is two in there. Okay. But I'm not gonna do. There's a team flicker on the active. Okay, we got an energy attachment for turn. That's not bad. And we can double up. Not gonna do. All right, I like this. I like this a lot. So three cards going to his hand. He definitely needs a max potion, a fair energy, and something else. Uh, he can see what's in his prize cards, which is really irrelevant to us. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's happening? All right. So our turn. We'll attach a dark energy. We'll put down Nagana though. We'll use charging up. We'll use charging up. Alrighty, so we got five. I mean we're doing a we're doing a lot here. I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot. Maybe it's a knockout. Nope, two ten. Thank you, fighting dumbbells. <laughs> All right, there is a uh, fair guard coming down. Okay, give that free retreat. Fair to do to that guy, which this is fine. I'm fine that he did this. Um, yeah, I'm fine with this. So get uh, another Sylveon out. Okay, super scoop up heads. Gonna pick up the damage guy. Okay, <clears throat> if we touch like Skyfield, yeah, we're still gonna knock out though. We need we need some compressors. If we touch like a compressor, we can knock out this turn. Okay, there's a body mount dumbbells. Yep, yeah, okay. VS Seeker uh, for Team Flagrant, most likely. Which is like, it doesn't really matter because we need Team Flagrant this. We got another Nagadale ready to go. Um, we'll just get like the Nagadale powered up more. So Team Flagrant, the Dark Angel, the active. If we can top pick another Dark Energy, we have Knockout this turn. We played 14 Dark Energies too, so that's really nice. Um, we have a lot of outs as well. A lot of outs this turn. Especially if we get in them. If we get in them, and you can't get into the Eevee, we can knock out, then we're looking really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, and then we also get this like start turning point as well. And Oh my goodness, this is so good. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll thin our deck down. Get this guy. We'll put this guy here. Put this guy another energy. Put this guy another energy. We'll take another. We'll take a knock out this turn. Oh my lord! Sorry, Sylveon. You have met your worst nightmare. Dark pulse for the knockout. 
Boom! 250. Get out of here. Go down to two price cards. What do you got for us this turn? Skyfield and a Dark Energy. Two good cards to see already. Because we can Skyfield. We can Restoration. Uh, we're looking good here. Even though we misplayed that one turn, it looks like we will take this game against a Sylveon deck. Uh, he's going to fill out that match room in there. There's a Sylveon Jex. Okay. He needs a lot of stuff here to make us not have a game. Be real honest with y'all. So Guzma up a Tapu Lele. He needs a Crushing Hammer as well. Because we got Skyfall, we got Dark Energy, we can free a tree into the Dark Bowls. And there's a Magic Ribbon, and we'll take the knockout. Boom, 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 boom. Take that, Sylveon. All right. So even though Sylveon's got the resistance in the dark, it can't take down our Noggadels. Woo! All right. That was a good, that was a good match. That was a good match there, showing how the deck really does work, kind of. Right? Even though we didn't have a support card for 10 turns. Well, now I say it, and now we do. Put this down. Put this here. Retreat into Dark Ryan. We'll take a knockout. Doing like 270. <laughs> All right. So on the game, let's go one more game with this Dark Ryan not gonna deal deck. We did a thousand to ten damage. Calm down, Dark Ryan. You calm yourself down, Mister. <coughs> All right. Let's play one more game with this deck. I'm excited to take down Sylveon. You know, it's probably one of the worst decks to play against, but our deck can handle it. All right, let's see. On the game number three, we are playing against Lu Luigi. Uh, playing some kind of Zorak deck. Heads. We won the coin flip. Yep, I would like to go first. On to our turn. All righty. Uh, that's a pretty good start. Pretty good start. Yep. We'll put that Dark Eye. Touch the Dark Energy. Uh, mysterious treasure. We can, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. This hand is just, it's just so good. All right, let's keep it a secret. We're playing. Let's not reveal it just yet, guys. Let's keep it a secret. Orn Guru. Okay, so we will put a dark energy here. Put down double purple. We'll compressor away a restoration. Dark energy and a Guzma. Ultra Ball away one and two for a Lele. <clears throat> well, Lele for uh, Juniper. Okay. Show me Juniper. We got all three in the discard pile. Wait, did I discard it? A lot of Junipers, are we? Oh, no, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it, Josh. You're silly. Put down another Dark Eye. Ultra Ball away. This and Guzma for the free retreat Dark Eye. Alrighty. It's a pretty good hand if I don't say so myself. And we'll just press done onto our opponent's turn. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, we're definitely just going to choice spin the active via Seeker for, um, yeah, probably just a Juniper, just discard a edge all 70 cards. Just try to get a bunch of energies on the field um, while we can, and just try to one-shot the Zork when it comes to life. So, Borghetti here, okay. Because 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh, we'll discard the Tapu Lele. Okay, that's fine. We go down to four, which is all, all we really need is just four. All right, so we'll choice spin the bench. A dark energy active via seeking for chorus. We'll have a chorus. Oh well, we'll go Jennifer. Yeah, we will get seven. Chorus would be a lot better there, obviously. Okay. Um, we drew into nothing essentially. So dark bolts for sixty. Okay. Hmm, this is not, ugh. Feel the way of the choice, man, off the bench, okay. Shaman, set up for one. The Shaman go down is good because we don't play any, like, uh, stadium cards besides Skyfield. So since the Shaman's here, 
it's going to be there pretty much forever. So what we're going to see is probably some executes coming down. Um, okay, an N, Karen, an egg, via seeker for an N. Okay, that's fine. Our hand's not that good at all. I guess he didn't notice that. That's fine with me. Let me get some new hands here. Let's see. Okay. There's a trade coming down. Parallel City. Discarding this one. We got the Skyfall to get rid of that. There's a Propagation. Okay. Um, there's two of the discard files. So we're going to save the Dark. Uh, we could, like, compress their discard a bunch. And they go crazy this turn. Hmm. No, oh, yeah, I want to do this. So pass the dark turn, okay. So put down Naganadel. We use charging up. I guess we should have waited probably. Put that there. Attach a dark energy. Compressor. Discarding a dark. For the other charge up and restoration if needed at any point. We we'll discard the other compressor. <clears throat> Party wants to discard the dark energy. I think I'm just going to hold off on just those two right now. And then we'll go in for a new hand of six. <clears throat> All right. So we get another Naga to know. Um, so what I'm going to do is put this here. Charge up. Dark patch to the bench, dark ray. And then we'll dark pulse for the knockout. Okay. So he's got to bump his own stadium and plus do more stuff to knock us out this turn. So the mysterious treasure really not getting us anything. Here comes the dark or Zork GX. My plan next turn is to go for uh, a knockout with um, maybe using um, dead end GX. So we see propagate. Okay. So this is the moment of truth. This is what, like, probably our best, like, expanded matchup to see if the deck's actually good or not, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. And in any moment, too, we can knock out the Shaman as well, which is really nice um, with the Choice Band play. Like, Choice Band knockout is really good on that one. <clears throat> There's another Zark GX coming out. So we'll see some trades here. He's going to find a like nine bench Pokemon though to take a knockout this turn. Maybe he could do it. I don't know how many Pokemon are in hand or stuff like that. He's got to find a Skyfield as well. All right, discards an egg, draw two. And if he doesn't, then we're looking somewhat okay here. So Shaman, that's unfortunate. VS Seeker, let's see what he gets back with the VS Seeker. There's an N. So once again, this is not what he really wants to see. He's, uh, I don't think he's gonna take a knockout here. Like he has to draw amazing. Um, essentially, right? Okay. So DC the active. Right is beating Fondra. So can we take a knockout this turn? That is the question on my mind. Okay. So we're down. One. So we can Compressor. Discarding three darks. All right. Well, dark patch here. Dark patch again. All right. We will charge up to this guy. <clears throat> Put a choice man and juniper. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 140, 160, 180. All right, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we're taking the knockout with Dark Pulse. All right, go down to three price cards. We find a VS Seeker and a Dark, a dark Energy. So what we can do next turn is we can go, how many darks? We're down three. Dark patches, okay. Mm 
What was this guy weak to? Okay. He have exactly three parts. Okay, so what we can do this turn is we can, if he takes a knockout, we can Guzma knock out the Shaman with the choice. Uh, we don't even need choice, we just like one shot regardless. Okay, but we're probably gonna see a one attack for end most likely this turn. Calm down. Does he have another end though? That end, there we go, there's a the victory. Man, no, no, I wanna show Nagadell. So what would happen? Is if we took a knockout, we would have um, used both Nogginadels, Goose would up the Shaman, and took a knockout because we had three prize cards remaining, and we would have won. So there we go. Take it down, Zork. Do we have one more game? Like, this is a really fun deck. Yeah, it's, it's going good right now. It's going good so far. All right, let's play one more game with Dark Knight Nogginadel. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, let's play one more with Dark Ride Nogginadale. This is going good so far. <clears throat> out of nowhere, like, there's like double Nogginadale, Dark Patch, Attach. Like, out of nowhere, you're doing like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Like, you're doing an extra 100 damage with all the Nogginadales, Dark Patches, and stuff like that. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, they're also playing, are they, also, are they playing the same deck? Do they know the power? All right, we'll start Darkrai. We actually have another good hand, like another really good hand. So put up Darkrai, okay. Like an Ultra Bolt with two Dark Energies, Computer Search with a, a Lele whatever, <clears throat> for another like double Poi Pool. There's a Lele start, okay. Ultra Ball, see what he's playing here. Some Fire Energies, all right. Is his deck fire? Like straight fire, like spitting fire. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see the volcano come down. Okay. Fire to J. Cynthia for new hand of six. So we're we're going to go off this turn. Ultra Boy these two. Computer search away these two. Juniper. Uh, we're finding double Nagana Really, really, really nice. Hopefully another dark energy attach, and we will be rolling. So on to our turn. Let's see here. So Ultra Ball away one and two. Poi Poi Poi. Put down Poi Poi. We could like save our hand. But right now I'm just gonna computer search, discard one or two, get another Poi Poi. All right, got the double Poi Poi down, which is all you pretty much need. Well, Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven cards. Need a Dark Energy attachment, which we got there. We'll attach Dark Energy here. Well, Ultra Ball, discarding one and two, grabbing another Dark Eye. The only problem is we prized our free treater again. So grab this Dark Eye, put on Dark Eye, use Dark Patch, attach a Dark Energy there, and uh, done. All right. Woo! It's a pretty good turn. And that was a weird out three. <laughs> if we probably get Garbodor, we would have been in trouble for sure. Uh, okay, so Fire Energy active. We'll see you treat. There's an Ultra Ball. Discarding Fire and in. Okay. He's weak to dark. I would not put that down if I was you, mister. Oh, mister. You did not listen. Look at you using Juniper. Okay. <coughs> Choice Span, Max Elixir. Gonna fail that. Max Elixir number two. Gonna fail that one. Choice Span. Now, if you notice, we didn't put Max Elixir in our deck. We could have, but no spot. And plus we get Dark Patches, which is like 100% better than Max Luxers. I'm convinced. Maybe you can put both in here. If you can put both in here, let me know. You're my best friend. All right, on our turn. Um, this, this, four, seven, no matter what, we're getting seven. Grab a Juniper. Juniper. Um, this. Charge up. We'll use this for this and two darks. All right. Um, restoration. Put a dark energy on it. Put a dark energy. I think it's enough. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, dark pulse for the knockout. Alrighty, go down to five price cards. 
see what we get here. There's a Tapu Lele. It doesn't really matter about that card. Volcanian coming up. Okay. If he takes a knockout, we got Dark Patch attached. Naganadel. Maybe another Naganadel. Something like that. There's a Staryu coming down. Okay. He needs, like, Blacksmith to start even to take a knockout. Um, so we're looking good already. Like, real good. There's our Orin Guru coming down. Okay. He's not going to be able to attack us this turn. 100%. The fire energy there. Max looks her switch. That would be his only real way to attack us this turn, but nope. Jeez. Uh, part of this one will go via Seeker Sycamore. Uh, we'll go via Seeker Chorus. Let's attach to here. Via Seeker for Chorus. <clears throat> Alright. So Chorus for 9. Alright, we can Compressor. For... Oh, just a one dark, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll discard this. And this. If we have Guzma in this card, probably do not. So let's, let's, instead of this, let's discard a Guzma. Alright, we'll charge up. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yep, Dark Pulse for 180 damage. Taking the knockout. Going down to three price cards here. One and two. There's a Dark Energy. There's a Poipo. Alrighty, here comes another Volcanian. But if he takes a knockout, we'll be able to uh, charge up. We'll go to Dark Patch. We'll be able to do a lot of stuff. I mean, it's looking like we are just going to dominate this game again. But they receive in, going to put us down to three. But if we find the other Naganadel, we'll be able to... I think we have a knockout no matter what right now, unfortunately. And we find a Mysterious Treasure. It's just not looking good for my opponent. That's going to allow us to grab another Chorus and or a Juniper. I think one of the two are in the deck. Yeah, we got Choice Band here. So we got two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16 plus a choice 190 already but let's do the max amount yeah we're taking a knockout no matter what send to the dark ride own our turn well skyfield um this way this define this okay we'll play it wonder tag grabbing uh we'll just grab a sycamore or juniper whatever all right. How many Dark Energies in here? Doesn't matter. Dark Patch. Onto the Dark Eye. We'll charge up to the Naganadel. I guess one thing we could have done is maybe have gone for a Guzman this turn and like knock out the Orangaroo or something because we have three prize cards left. But I don't think he can retaliate after this turn no matter what. I uh, will Ultra Ball away one and two for another Naganadel. We'll put down Naganadel. Catch a choice man. Power, charging up again. And we'll take a knockout. And then after this, I don't know what he can really do. Oh, do we attach yet? We haven't attached yet either. We'll attach to Tapu Lele. Sure. We'll Dark Pulse. Yeah, we'll do 250 damage. Uh, turn four, whatever turn it is right now. Oh my goodness. Have we played it? We don't have even played our Dark Patches. So we can be a secure for Juniper and just go for like max amount of damage if our opponent lets us. He probably won't. He probably won't let us do that though. <clears throat> yeah, well, Vias get for Juniper. Just discard our hand. Hopefully, get all fourteen energies on the field. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Only two more left. Can we get all in the patch? That would be amazing. Volcano coming down. Let's see what else he's got for here. We can go for Dead and GX. Um, turning point can do some damage. Field blower. Wait, I don't know. Choice band of Skyfield. Okay, double choice. Whatever. Fire energy there. It's Turtonator. Just don't go for a Guzma. Max elixir. Like even if he, like knocks us out this turn, I'm not. I'm not concerned at all. He might have it though. Does he have a way to knock us out? Bright Flame will knock us out. Alright, so steam up for one. Okay. It's struck for two. Switch fire energy. 
A lodestone. Okay, that guy. Okay, that works. That works. And he's got the star me. All right, good, good, good. We're, ha we're giving him faith. Thank you, Pokemon. Thank you for letting this happen. I want to give my opponent faith. Thank you so much. What's happening right now? Oh, no! No! No, no, no. But there we go, guys. There's Darkrai and Nogginadel. It is going to be a force to be reckoned with and expanded once people start testing this deck. Oh, my goodness. It is so good looking right now. Um, yeah, we took down Zork. We took down Sylveon. We're about to take down uh, Volcanion. Yeah, Dex just seems really good. We're like, not gonna deal. Just people get introduced back from the discard pile. You got Dark Patches. You've got... So, like, with Dark Patches, not gonna deal. So, you can attach, like, three energies to return. Do an additional 60 out of nowhere. Attach your additional 80. Choice bet 110. You can do an additional 110 out of nowhere. Um, basically, you're doing additional 60 damage out of nowhere every single turn. So, the deck is busted. It seems really, really good. I uh, think you to Garrett for uh, giving the suggestion. We didn't even see Dead and GX. Maybe it's not even worth it. I think it still is. Uh, just being able to, like, be able to restoration, attach, dark patch, um, laser at any point is really, really nasty. And I think it's definitely worth a spot in the deck. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for ex uh, watching Expanded Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's Fan Friday. Go vote for your favorite decks. Have a great Thursday. And once again, alrighty, bye.